entertainment industry like Sony, Nickelodeon, uh, DreamWorks, Pixar. Uh, we do promotional materials for their movies and their shows. I love the arts, I love drawing, I love colors, typography. If I were an accountant, they will fire me the next day like, stop drawing things, you know, get some work done. You need to do what you are passionate about. I have a really cool job. I, I feel really fortunate that I get to do these things as part of my career just because a lot of them are things that I do on my own time as volunteers or, or just for fun. My name is Andy Armstrong. I'm the resource management specialist here at Timpanogos Cave National Monument. Here in our division, we're responsible for uh, looking after the health of the cave resource, doing any mitigation, any restoration to the cave. In addition to cave stuff, we also deal with basically anything to do with the natural or cultural systems here at the park. 501, this is 502. 502, we have a rattlesnake on the trail. 502, clear. Well, I guess for me, you know, caves are, are my passion, and so it's it's really rewarding for me to get to uh, have a job where I, I get to do that on a daily basis. Uh, Chris, can you give me the size of the Right. Uh, I think the entire time. Okay, I'll be good. Uh, well, my name is Dane Rolf. I work at Struck. We're a creative agency. And my title, I'm a social media coordinator. From Facebook to Twitter to Instagram to Pinterest to LinkedIn to whatever else somebody else comes up with and becomes the, the biggest thing in new media, I have to make sure I'm, I'm on top of it and that we are doing something there to, uh, to, to, to be there with the buzz, to be there where people are, are having communications and uh, where people are connecting with one another. I never would have guessed that the mixture of my education and just my natural ability to, to use social media would land me a job. So that's fun. There's a series of cooking classes that, um, that they were doing that were all inspired by books. And so I, I went to this cooking class and covered it and got to sample all these lovely goodies and hear about this, hear from this woman who had written this cookbook. And I was kind of like, really, this is, this is what I get paid for, huh? This is pretty great. <laughs> so I'm Lindsay Whitehurst. I'm a reporter for the Salt Lake Tribune. Doing this job, I have really gotten to meet some very interesting people and um, even see some really incredible things um, from ice rescues um, to meeting polygamists and talking with them on a pretty regular basis to house fires and murders and uh, car crashes. Just some, some really interesting things and some really um, incredible stories from these folks who have um, lived through some things that I, I never would, um, would be able to imagine. So, and I get to hear all that. It's pretty great. There are so many cool jobs out there that I didn't know existed. I didn't know that I could do what I do or even some of the other things that I've even heard about. I didn't know that these things even were an option. And having an education exposes you to all these different alleyways. Education definitely puts you on a different level and gives you opportunities and um, the skills that you need to work with your mind and your talents. I feel like college gives you more time during a time in your life when you need to figure things out to be exposed to different things and to find that direction. Whereas if you don't go, you may end up making some choices now that sort of lock you into a certain path and that may not be the path that you want to be on in the long run. I definitely got my first jobs in the park service based on the fact that I had a college degree where I might not have had that opportunity otherwise. College can absolutely open up so much for you that you really had no idea was out there.
Right now, you have this amazing opportunity to take these college credit courses while you're in high school. One of my favorite things about the concurrent enrollment program is that anyone can take these courses. So you don't have to drive mommy's Jaguar, you don't have to be a rich kid. You can take these classes and benefit from them. Concurrent enrollment is dual credit, where you take one class, but you get both high school credit and college credit from the course that you're taking. So if, if you're in a seat right now in high school watching this, you can do concurrent enrollment classes. If, I mean, if a, if a high school student is, is you know, wondering whether they should take an advanced class, the advice I'll give to them, 